<laughs> all right guys what is going on my name is ollie ward welcome back to the ollie ward channel i hope you've all had a fantastic monday and you're ready for some leeds united news so much news has happened today leeds are finally moving and it's about time too but before we do get into the leeds united news as always guys let's smash let's go for 500 likes on this video as leeds united are actually signing some people also subscribe if you are new we're very close to 11,000 subscribers now i'm going to give you three seconds one two and three and comment your thoughts on Ethan Ampadu. What are your thoughts on him? Do you like him? Let's get into this. So, Leeds United have pretty much all but confirmed, been confirmed by Phil Hay, Fabrizio Romano. Everything is pretty much done for the signing of Welsh international Ethan Ampadu. Very, very decent player. I like the look of this signing. It was nowhere. I didn't see this anywhere. And out of nowhere today, we're linked with him. Deal's close. And apparently it's it's pretty much confirmed that Ethan Ampadu will be a Leeds United player. Permanent deal from Chelsea. 7 million fixed fee plus add-ons. Personal terms are done. There is no buyback clause, but there is a sell-on clause with Chelsea. If we do decide to sell the 22-year-old, he's made already over 40 appearances. No, he hasn't. Appearances, sorry for the Welsh international team. Like, how good is that? The man's 22 years old. Apparently, his medical will be done this week and he will be announced as the first Leeds United signing. He can play centre-back. He can play in the six. Um, I actually do believe Leeds are bringing him in as a six. I don't think they'll bring him in as a centre-back. I don't know, though. Either way, that's good to have there because, obviously, Robin Koch has gone. We've still got Charlie Cresswell. People could play right centre-back, but he could slot in nicely there, but also could slot in the middle of the park. A lot of people are saying this means Tyler Adams has gone. Not really, not necessarily, because we are low on midfielders now. Mark Rock has left. Adam Forshaw won't get a contract. So maybe it's there just for squad numbers. If we could keep Tyler Adams and Ethan Ampadu in the middle of the park. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is good. But it is all confirmed. For Fabrizio Romano, Phil Hay, The Athletic, all of them have been saying that Ethan Ampadu will be the first Leeds United signing, and it feels good. Uh, it, it does feel good. Seven million for him as well, for you know an established international. And yeah, Chelsea fans are quite annoyed how it's worked out. Sheffield United fans saying, actually, no, he's not that great. You know, it, you it's just you got to take it with a pinch of salt. We've got to see what he does in a Leeds United shirt, but it's pretty much all but done in the next few days. He will be a Leeds United player. Next up, Glenn Kamara, personal terms agreed. So uh, this is not this is going all around. Apparently, there's a few players that personal terms have been agreed. And Glenn Kamara is one of them. He is a Rangers midfielder, Finnish international. He's all but done, apparently, and personals are agreed. Apparently, the deal is close. Four million plus add-ons. This is the fee being chucked around um, by just uh, numerous sources on Twitter, some reliable, some unreliable, of course. But uh, it was confirmed by The Athletic that Leeds have been looking at Glenn Kamara, and it looks like he could be the next one in the middle of the park as well. He is a fantastic player. I like Glenn Kamara. I, I, I highly rate him. I think he would absolutely boss the championship. And it looks like Leeds are favourites to sign him. It's it's all looking good, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm excited. I just I'm just excited saying this. But remember, do take it with a pinch of salt. Next up, uh, Perot, the Swansea City striker. Um, personal terms agreed there. This is more of a loose link. Rumor has it, and that you know, in the no accounts of saying that. Perot has agreed personal terms of Leeds United. Nothing concrete, but dominoes are starting to fall. Apparently, Leicester have pulled out the race for the striker, so Leeds can pounce. But this one's a bit more... I, I don't know. I, you know, this one's... I'm not fully up with that yet. I need to see a bit more with the Perot rumours. But yeah, that would be a decent goal scorer to have. Next up, similar with Nat Phillips. Uh, people are saying personals are done there. It would be a permanent deal. We know that. Um, but it's a similar sort of one with Perot. We need to see a bit more. Uh, the Glen Kamara one, there's legs there. Ethan Ampadu, uh, Ethan Ampadu, sorry, is all but confirmed. Perot and Nat Phillips is a bit is a bit of a... Is a bit of another one, but we'll, you know, the, the rumors there, the rumors are strong and leads, the dominoes are falling. So it looks kind of like the takeover has happened and it will be announced this week, realistically. Now all these transfer rumors are starting to fly out. Uh, next up, Greta Steinson is to join Leeds United in a senior recruitment and technical role. Um, that this is decent. He, that's a fantastic addition to the Leeds United team. Previously, performance director at Spurs after jobs with Everton and Fleetwood. He's been described as a 
pit bull. He sees something. He wants it. No bullshit kind of man, which we definitely need. He'll arrive as part of the uh, reconstructing following Victor Orta's departure. Nick Hammond, who was uh, appointed the interim football advisor last month, remains with Leeds on a short-term contract. Club originally said they expect to make a permanent appointment in October, but Steinson arrival brings forward the time frame. That was from Phil Hay today. So fantastic to get you know, a senior recruitment uh, person in for Leeds United. This is looking good. This is, is it's looking tasty. I'm now suddenly excited for the new season. You know, it, when, when things start, you know, dominoes start falling, takeovers start happening, 49ers start spending, Leeds United fans can get happy. Next up, the news isn't done there. Leeds are pushing for Carl Darlow. Eddie Howe has come out and admitted that there is a potential that one keeper will leave this summer, including Darlow, including Dubravka. Uh, Hull have gone off the move for Darlow. Leeds are in pole position to sign Carl Darlow. I like the look of Carl Darlow in goal. Obviously, there's other options there. Uh, we spoke about Nubel, who does look like he will be staying in Germany and also there's Freddie Woodman as well who leads like the look of as well as Angus Gunn but Leeds are apparently in pole position for Darlow oh I know Bournemouth like him as well probably to go there to be their number two but if he came to Ellen Road he probably would be our number one and he probably would be our number one because Elan Melies left and also Joel Robles has confirmed today he has gone as well he put a tweet out he said it truly felt like home at Leeds United but he won't you know, be continuing with Leeds United. Good luck to Joel Robles. I thought when he came in, he'd done a fantastic job. In them four games, you know, he did look more comfortable than Melier did all last season. But, you know, Melier is still a young goalkeeper. Joel Robles probably showed more of his experience in a relegation battle. But either way, uh, good luck to Joel Robles and hope his new club, you know, look after him. And, uh, yeah, love to Joel Robles. Next up, it's another departure. Rocker has gone. We knew that he would be all a Real Betis player uh, on loan um, if anything like went wrong. And uh, Leeds can only now... Uh, loan two more players out. There's some sort of rule there. We've loaned out too many players. So two more loans can happen. Rocker always said once a white, always a white. He put a nice little message out. Good luck to Rocker. Um, you know, I know he's jumped ship and people aren't going to be happy with it. But, you know, I've always got a bit of a soft spot for Mark Rocker. But either way, good luck to him out in Spain. Next up, Leeds knock back Everton for Nonto. Does that mean Nonto is staying? The one thing Leeds are lucky with with Nonto is he's got no sort of relegation clause in his contract. Uh, Leeds can just say, keep saying no. Obviously, you don't want to annoy the player. That's the last thing Leeds United want to do is annoy the player. But at this rate, it does look like Willie Nonto uh, will be staying unless a massive offer comes in from Everton. Everton might walk away, but you never no, um, I'm just trying to get the, the rest of the details. A lot of departures from Ellen Road so far, but the advantage Leeds have of Nonto is that there's no relegation clause in his deal. That was from Phil Hay earlier, and he's due to return to training this week. We did speak a bit about Nonto uh, Leeds rejecting the bid from Everton yesterday, um, and that, that that's all but good. If we could keep on to, you know, if we if we add the additions of uh, Ampadu, Glenn Kamara, we've still got Sinny, Rutter, you know, uh, Willie Nonto, we bring in Perot as striker. Nat Phillips as centre-back. Carl Darlow is your goalkeeper. I tell you what, Daniel Farker's whites could be going up. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, there's so much news to get through. Obviously, take it all with a pinch of salt. So we've said that Ethan Abadou is confirmed all but pretty much he is confirmed he's pretty much the next Legion I player uh, Glenn Kamara personal terms agreed uh, fee around 4 million Perot personals we'll, we'll keep an eye on that same with Nat Phillips uh, Greta Steinston is the new senior recruitment and technical role uh, at Leeds United um, Leeds pushing for Carl Darlow Joel Robles is gone Rock is gone and will Nonto stay guys I want to know all your comments down below. This is a big day for Leeds United. Monday, it started good. Hopefully, we'll bring in a new face this week. Guys, if you did enjoy this video and you uh, yeah, just enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 500 likes. Also, subscribe. If you are new, let's hit 11,000 tonight. And also, comment just your thoughts on everything. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent, as always. And I'll catch you next time. Cheery. Oh. <laughs>